What is going on guys, Gabsito here, bringing you League of Legends commentary, and today I am playing Lucian, AD carry, in the bot lane, and it's an awesome champ, like Lucian is the best, if not, I think the best AD carry right now, because uh, of his insane burst, um, escapiness with his E, uh, that doesn't cost mana in late game, that's just fantastic, it's OP as shit, so you can use it freely. He has range with his ultimate, and he has just overall burst and escapes. Um, Leona and Lucian is the setup for this game. And I'm not pre-made with this uh, Leona, but I gotta say, Leona is probably... Um, this is a ranked game, by the way, uh, and uh, of course, as usual. And Leona is probably one of the best supports with Lucian, because... It's so much burst, you know, Leona has the damage to almost 1v1 an AD carry uh, by herself. So, uh, you understand why this is a good uh, team comp. Um, so, I think we're going to go in for a little fight here. Uh, any second. Or Sin Xiao actually comes for a gank. And this is a stupid mistake. I get uh, attacked by Sin Xiao right there. And Leona is going to go in for Annie. I'm gonna get the kill, but Sin Xiao is gonna flash after for one last uh, auto attack to pick up the kill. So that wasn't very good. We have kind of a rush, rough start in the beginning here, but it um, it sorts itself out, and um, it, it's better uh, mid game, I guess. Lucian is a really beast mid game champion. So you obviously you you want to rush the BF sword because Lucian has really high AD scalings. Um, so you want to rush BF sword if you can, and then build it to a bloodthirster. Uh, I do in this game. I get an early bloodthirster before I even get my boots, and that's really uh, actually pretty good. And then I want to get the tr Trinity Force, of course, as a burst the AD carry. You want to have the Trinity Force, kind of like Corky. Uh, Lucian has the same kind of playstyle. Uh, as quirky so Leona and uh, Lucian is probably uh, the best bot lane uh, at the moment and or Lucian and Thresh is pretty good too you're gonna see a fight starting here uh, Leona is gonna miss her ultimate unfortunately and Sin Xiao is actually gonna escape I think here <laughs> uh, with that HP but Leona is gonna find the stun on Annie instead and we're gonna get the kill on, or I'm gonna get the kill on her for 300 gold. So snowballing really well with Lucian. That's that's awesome. He's so OP mid game, and he's still a really good late game AD carry. I find AD carry is quite hard to uh, carry and ranked with. It's they're kind of like they're squishy and they rely a lot on their team. So it's hard to carry with an AD carry like Caitlyn. I hate Caitlyn by the way, it's the worst champion uh, for me to play. It's just boring. You just stand there and auto attack and poke all game. It's no fun and I lose uh, most of the time when I play Caitlyn. But I've, since I've started to play Lucian, I've won uh, quite a lot more games because I think he has a lot of more carry potential with his uh, uh, combo and setup. So Leona's gonna miss another ultimate right there, uh, and he's unfortunately gonna get away with like zero HP again. Sin Xiao is gonna come. I'm gonna try to flash away, and Leona is gonna stay, and then flash away. Uh, I'm gonna get a little poke with my W right there. But look at this, Leona's gonna turn instead of running. She should have just died here, but she turned, or I turned uh, with her, and unfortunately Draven had that. Barrier, so Sin Xiao is just gonna uh, go after me even if I have barrier and he's gonna turret dive me for the kill. So as I said, a rough start with... We still managed to get the turret and uh, two kills and quite some decent farm, but... Uh, it's still a rough start since I die twice early to Sin Xiao. Uh, but Sin Xiao is pretty good early game as well, so... It's difficult. Uh, Sin Xiao, we're gonna actually find Sin Xiao in the jungle here. Leona's gonna do uh, a nice um, 
uh, rude or stun or whatever it is. And she's gonna hit her ultimate on Draven. That was really stupid. Um, and <laughs> Sin Xiao is gonna get two more kills. Uh, we want ganks from Wukong as well. But as as you can see, we're 9 and 12 right now. We're 9 and 13 right there. 10 and 13. So it's kind of a rough start for the whole team. Uh, but now they're gonna chase Wukong. And he's gonna pick up the kill. But that's not worth it because we're gonna find low mana and off guard Draven right there uh, to kill him. Leon is gonna do some beautiful ults or CC abilities. She's just gonna walk up in front of her, stun her so I can get the kill and a double buff. So this kind of turns the game around a lot after that too. Uh, double buff in four and three. So I am going to um, ward the dragon right there and go for the uh, golems. Then head to mid. Uh, and we're going to find a set here. Leona's going to do some beautiful stunts again. And we're going to pick him off. So that's so good. As you can see, Leona and Lucian is such a beast uh, lane. So much burst. CC. You know, get get a Leona ult in there. It's like they're, they're made for each other. And Leona's going to do a beautiful, beautiful Q or W. I don't even know what that ability is really. But we're going to get the kill and the dragon. Since Xiao didn't manage to get that. Uh, so I love fight is going to start there. We're going to get a kill and a turret. And I am going to get the wraiths. And head back for the Sheen and Phage. Um, as Lucian, you don't get any attack speed really, except from your Trinity Force. I think you you have your passive right. Uh, every time you use an ability, you get two quick attacks, and it's really good for the bursts. And that's why you don't need attack speed because you're gonna be using your abilities constantly. Your E, which is uh, which doesn't cost any mana late game, you're gonna use it every time you can. Uh, your Q which is on a pretty short cooldown as you can see 5 second cooldown and then you have your W when you don't have time to use that and your ult of course so you don't really your ult scales off attack speed but I still don't think it's worth getting uh, too much attack speed I go for the trinity force and the uh, uh, berserk griefs and that's okay for the attack speed look at this uh, Set is gonna try to get executed the whole team is gonna chase him I have my flash ult and almost E up but you know, it's said he's gonna be able to run away. Leona's gonna miss her ult earlier there. And he is probably gonna get ex executed. And look at this last turret shot, and Katarina comes for the E <laughs> and gets the kill. So that was just too lucky. Um, but quite a fun little chase right there. Uh, so we're gonna find Annie here. A top lane and uh, Leona starting to do uh, a lot better as uh, her support role she starts to hit her ult ultimates a lot better and I am getting fed I'm gonna miss my ultimate a bit there but I'm gonna uh, come for the cleanup and we're gonna pick up a double kill and Katarina's gonna get the second one for the kill steal uh, could have gotten a triple as I can, you can see here, Annie does not have her stun up. I'm going to flash after her, or not flash, but Leona's going to do her thingy. And I'm just going to use my E over to safety. Uh, Lucian is so strong. I hope they don't nerf him. Like, I don't like when Riot nerfs everything. Uh, you probably noticed recently if you read the patch notes. and uh, It's... it's you know impossible to avoid seeing all the nerfs but you know Gragas has been nerfed, Cassidy has been nerfed Gragas is probably not a nerf, I don't know I've seen some top lane poning uh, with Gragas but I mean he's kinda reworked uh, I don't wanna say nerfed we'll just say reworked and Cassidy is definitely nerfed um, they have nerfed like Wukong, I think. Uh, but that was actually probably a viable or a good nerf um, because, I mean, I think Wukong was really 
like too strong. He had too much in his setup or kit or whatever you want to say because he had CC with his ultimate, AOE CC. Uh, he had tankiness. He had um, gap closers, uh, pretty low cooldowns. He had um, invisibility, you know, being able to juke people. Quite good mobility. He was really, really, really strong. So that I think they nerfed his damage. Uh, we have a Wukong in our team, by the way, this game. Uh, and he's going to get killed right there. And we are going to head back to the base. Because Sin Shao is actually pushing the inhibitor turrets. But he's not going to be able to do that. Because Katarina uh, or Renekton is going to flash E or whatever that ability does. I haven't played Renekton. <laughs> and he's going to stun him. And we're going to take the wolves or wraiths right there. And go for the Baron. Um, so I'm actually going on a vacation tomorrow, Sunday, for a week. So I won't be posting any videos um, if you're wondering if I'm dead or something. I don't post a lot of videos. I haven't. I post at least. I try to post at least one, once a week. But uh, I'm going on vacation, so don't expect any videos uh, after this one um, for the next week. And after that, you can expect a funny moments episode. Uh, I'm gonna start doing those again because a lot of you people have been requesting them, and. You know, I think a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of you, uh, like to watch them. Uh, we're gonna make a beautiful play right here. Leona's gonna flash over the wall. Good team play right there. I'm gonna flash after her. She's gonna go in for the stun. I'm gonna pick up both kills, and Leona's gonna get away. So, uh, this is pretty much the end of the game. We're just gonna rush the Nexus right here and end it. So, leave a comment, like, favorite, subscribe, whatever you wanna do if you enjoyed the video. Check out my previous videos, um, I posted a funny moments episode not so long ago, it's a series where uh, I, it's pretty much just short clips uh, from League of Legends games that I get, it's, it, it can be anything. Um, so check that out, it's funny moments episode 6 I think, episode 7 should be up in like, it should be the next video, so don't forget to check that out and PEACE!